competition, it's Becky Dodson. And uh, we await the Thank arrival you, John, of, of yes, the judge, back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, we are Martin Cavill, who has uh, we've seen quite a lot of over the last cu couple of years. You have done this job. Down, Martin would appear to have done it pretty judge. well to so my eye, I Graham. You tell me. Yes, he has. Um, it's a big deal. I've, uh, I've, I've had the privilege of doing it. Martin Cavill is one of the top judges in the country. In fact, in Europe, he's going to be judging the... European Open Agility Championships, which we are hosting later on in the year, which I'll tell you a bit later on. But it's still a great honour to be at the biggest and best dog show in the world. So then, the first of 23 large dogs is in the arena. Joanne Tristram is the handler. Fade, she is four years of age, and the first crufts for Fade. And Ashley, talk to us about Crufts debutants, could you? Yeah, so um, I know Jo very well. She's a very good friend of mine, and she has competed at Crufts many, many years now with various different dogs. Um, but it is always slightly more nerve wracking when you've got a young dog or it is their first time at Crufts. There's nothing quite like Crufts, you can't replicate it. So, you know, anything could happen. You're just hoping that the experience of the handler will help the dog to just calm down and enjoy themselves and they are off they are indeed we'll let graham take a good look at the course and then he will talk you round it in a few moments time good clean start for joe and for faith towards us through the tunnel dog walk where these dogs seem to get quicker and quicker and just made contact at the end of that dog walk so clear and clean so far but as i say that there's a wrong course and there's an early elimination for joanne and for fade but as ever the round will be completed yep unfortunately picking up an elimination there but this is a lovely course by uh, martin I've, I've had a look around it and i expect uh, it to build up into a really really uh, great and close competition there we are over the skoda jump just a bit of miscommunication there, lost contact with the dog, and it jumped over the back of it, therefore it's elimination. Ola Cordas and five-year-old Setter. Border Collie, second dog to qualify for Crufts for Ola. Second time on the green carpet as well. These moments here, talk to us about these moments here, Ashley. Yeah, so for me, the most nerve-wracking point is when you're in the tunnel waiting to step onto the green carpet. That is when you can feel the electricity in the main arena. Stepping onto that start line with your dog is the best feeling in the world. You know that you're a team, you're a partnership, and you just want to get out and attack that course together. They're attacking it now, Ola and Sita. Just recalled the dog there. Got Sita back into the right position. Good work from Ola. Over the Skoda jump there. Through the tunnel. Over the IAMs right in front of us. Long jump. Just clipped the end of it. Not the first dog to do that over the last few days. But the time is tidy. Just the five faults then for Ola and for Sita. So just picking up a fault there, but uh, didn't get eliminated. And there we are, barking his enjoyment going through those weaves. And then just clipping the back of the long jump. This is, uh, we have changed the long jump slightly, uh, the material it's made of. It's now plastic and rubber. Uh, so whether the dogs are just not quite seeing it, I'm not quite sure. Always used to be made of wood, Jim. Here's Alan Bray in good form and six-year-old ticket. Alan, absolute master of this handling game. Perfect gentleman is ticket. And Alan exemplary. His words yesterday, there is life in the old dog yet. Alan is a phenomenal dog trainer and handler. He definitely has the experience to get around this Crofts Championship course. And he is doing a great job there, keeping that connection. That was a rear cross there into that tunnel, over that long jump. Beautiful seesaw. Now we've just got to finish down onto that A-frame. Can they hit that contact? Yes, they can. A beautiful clear round. Clear round and the best so far. 
really nice round from Alan. And as I say, there are lots of twists and turns in this course, but it flows. And I'm sure Ashley would agree. It just, it really just does run very nicely. You get some courses which you can never actually get going on, but this one's allowing the handlers to progress, let the dogs show uh, off their power and speed. Ewan Patterson, Scottish representative in the international last night. You might have seen it. And crazy, eight-year-old. She is crazy, the Border Collie. Won the Croft Championship and the Crofts International twice last year. European Open individual bronze, World Championship bronze last year as well. Very entertaining and a very talented partnership that to Ashley I would expect to see go deep in this competition. Yes, um, you would expect Ewan and Crazy to definitely be in that final tonight. He doesn't have to push for speed in this round, like I said earlier. It's just about getting round with as little faults or no elimination. That is the aim of the game for this one. And he is demonstrating that very well so far. Can he get that seesaw? He can. And now that straight finish home onto that A-frame and a lovely clear round for those guys. Very good. That's the best we've seen. It is. Uh, as you say, it's, it's just got to get round clear, but this dog's got two speeds fast and faster. And when, it's, when you've got a fast dog, it does become just that little bit more. You've got to be... Your reactions have got to be absolutely on the ball all the time. Helen Anderson Postle from Norwich, six year old Vespa, Belgian Shepherd Dog Malinois. Go on on this one, Graham. Talk us around the course that we're seeing today. Fairly straightforward start, jump, tie up into that tunnel. Now, this is an oblique weave entry here. All these dogs are well versed to be able to do that now. She turns to get the pick up the dog on the left. And again, now keeping the dog on the left here turning she's got to go round the back of that next jump without doing anything else onto the dog walk this year we're only marking the downs on the dog walk back into that tunnel again now this is the really quick part of the course over the long jump they must see so must touch the ground before they get off it round the back of that jump up and over the a-frame in a blink of an eye and what a great great round i'm sure you agree ashley yeah that was a beautiful round there from helen this dog is really coming into her own now, Vespa. She's a beautiful, stunning Malinois. Beautiful jump style. They're really trying at absolute hardest for Helen. This is Pip, six-year-old uh, Border Collie. Lisa Duggan, the handler from north of the, bur the border in Stirling. Great quality so far, by the way, we have seen here. And um, they will crunch those numbers, as we always say, from the jumping and the agility. And the very, very best will go through tonight. And that will be a wonderful climax to the agility here at Crofts. Good quality so far. Hardly an elimination, good quality. Oh, so Lisa there just losing that slight connection going into that tunnel. And again, so we've, we've got two refusals at the moment. And if the dog and handler pick up three refusals, that results in elimination. So Lisa there had to work really hard to make sure that she didn't get that third one, which she didn't. So she we're didn't. on 10 faults. I very nearly threw you under the bus there, but not quite. <laughs> it wasn't intentional, <laughs> don't worry. So I'll round they go, you. and just looking for the time, and you never know, that could be good enough that, that they might still be around later. Mike Bendel from Bristol, five-year-old at Falcon, working sheepdog. Second time at Crofts, and this dog an absolute workaholic. Won the International at Crofts last year, and the Kennel Club at Agility Stakes a couple of years ago. And just a little word about the dog, the lack of hair there is due to colour dilute alopecia doesn't affect his health at all and he doesn't have much hair you want to talk about that Graham uh, well yeah I think you've just described it really but it doesn't affect the dog speed it doesn't affect uh, how noisy it is either this last couple of years has uh, done really really well um, it has no ill effects or side effects on the dog at all as you can see having an absolutely ball out there just missed the contact point at the end of the dog walk there, but it's a very quick flying round uh, from Falcon and from Mike, up and down over the A-frame, and then hopping over the Skoda for finish, 34.0, and just the uh, five faults up in the top five. 
done really well. Just to remind everybody, you, you have to have won an agility uh, class or a championship class throughout the year to be here. And to do that is no mean feat. Um, so we are seeing some of the best of the best this country has to offer. You're seeing Nara Cuddy and Lemon. Silver individual from the Agility World Championships uh, this year in the Czech Republic. Runners up in this last year, third in the jumping, a thrilling second to Dalton Meredith in the singles back on Friday. This is a quality partnership. Nara Cuddy and Lemon. Yes, Lemon is a very, very successful dog and handler partnership. A very honest dog. Did have a little wobble on that number four tunnel, but oh, good save there. <laughs> a big that, wobble, that one. Yeah, that was a big wobble. And that is a sign of a good handler, though. So now she saved it and she's got to carry on and she's got to try and forget about that. Take it out of her mind, focus on the rest of the course. And she is doing that very well. Unfortunately, just picking up a five forks there, but she did go clear earlier. A good saving round from Nara and from Lemon, eh, Graham? Well, she got away with how? Oh, goodness gracious, that was really, really tight. You got a close look. Eleanor Belshin and Tengu, yeah. six-year-old uh, border collie. Eliminated in the jumping this morning, these two. Eleanor from Woking. Eight-year-old. Through the tire and the U move as a right hander into the tunnel. Through the wheeze and didn't complete the wheeze, I don't think so. It has to do it again, and that could be costly for Eleanor and Anna from Tengu. Such a fine art, this isn't it, uh, Ashley? Just one little fraction. It is, it's just that split second of loss of concentration um, and then unfortunately picking up a five faults there on that dog walk as well um, but you know they're having a great time out there she did get eliminated in the jumping um, which which is a shame but uh, that means she can come out enjoy this agility round together and have the best time and they have done exactly that Helena Belchin and Tengu well done so the dogs in the weaving poles comes out doesn't complete them correctly but it does pick it up later and then just the turning the wrong way that open hand signifies a course fault not a refusal you're watching amy bennett from aylesbury and tame seven-year-old border collie another one eliminated in the jumping this morning so looking to enjoy what is really for for dog and hand that it is a totally unique experience there's nothing like this anywhere is there no there's absolutely not there's there's no sport like this um, you are working as a team and a partnership out there um, you are one and that's the best feeling in the world again just another one pulling out of the weaves there i think amy is just trying to pull off and try and get ahead to that number seven so she can get a nice tight turn and actually we're coming down into this nine ten onto our dog walk and number 12 it looks like a simple jump but because the handler is putting so much pressure on that is where we get the dog demonstrating it there where they turn to the right side instead of the left side and that is purely just the handle putting that pressure on the dog yeah, but she's going to finish it off. I say my favourite expression is nobody's told the dog it's been eliminated. She'll want to finish on a really positive note here. And that she does. And it goes straight looking for the dog's toy. So that's absolutely brilliant. And here we are, into the weaves. And I think, keep an eye on the handler as well. She's drifting left all the time to try and get in the right position, as Ashley said. And that just pulled the dog out. Such a shame. A partnership to watch here, Shannon Springford. Fernie no name, third last year, but sadly eliminated in the jumping. And 
those of us up here we always say and you think we're unfair when we always say it ain't the dog it's the handler oh it's always the handler it's always on us we are the ones guiding our dogs around the course um, so any mistakes that happen is either a training error we just haven't worked hard enough for it um, or you know sometimes in the environment the dog just gets distracted but it is always down to us um, but this is a young dog um, he won a championship ticket last year um, but definitely a partnership to look out in future years. Just picking up another elimination, uh, heading for the seesaw there. Valuable experience, valuable time in the top three last year. They won't be this time round. Doesn't matter, a few more faults. Shannon Springford and Fernie No Name. Graham. Yeah, picking up an elimination there. Say because the dog put its foot on the obstacle that wasn't the next one, so that's elimination. Uh, but again, a partnership that's well capable in their day of actually winning a class like this. Martin Reed and Shape, six years of age, won the championship last year at Crufts, part of Team GB, silver medal at the European Opens in Denmark, and last year's winner. And we'll have to watch them closely. First in the jumping a couple of hours ago. So let's. Uh, sit back and see what Martin and Shape can do, a combination that um, surely will be there later on this Sunday. First over the union, through the tyre. Little right hand, smooth as silk, hardly touched the edge of that tunnel. Over the Yumu at the far end of the course. good time very good time indeed up into the top four yep just had to sit back and admire that round really he is a he's a class handler I mean he's got an absolutely fantastic small dog as well so to to have two dogs at different height categories both at the top of the world game is uh, is no mean feat but so well done Martin you're looking at Boogie from Kirkcaldy. Alan Short, the handler, homebred Boogie, honest, gives his all every time, an absolute thriller to run. Didn't have a thrilling time in the jumping when they were eliminated. Let's see if the agility goes better. And that's a beautiful style there, Ashley. Yes, this, a, this is a really nice dog that Alan is running right now. Um, he did get eliminated in the morning, so if I was him playing tactics, I would want to go and try and win this agility now. I've got nothing to lose. I'm not going to make the final, so I want to go and do the best that I possibly could, which is winning this round. And he's going pretty well at the moment, flying over that long jump. Seesaw is good as well. The time is excellent. Up and down over the A-frame, over that last jump. Well, that's really good. 33.7, the best so far for Alan and the boogie. Really, really pleased for Alan. Uh, you always get 100% of him, uh, and the dog just loves it. Look at it, that. Clapping his hands, saying, well done. First thing he's looking for is that dog's toy. Absolutely brilliant. Well done, Alan. This is Bo, eight-year-old uh, working sheepdog. Amanda Ellerton from Stafford. Third time for Bo at Crufts. Big dog, big stride. Very fast. And absolutely loves competing. Yeah, Amanda, another great dog trainer. She's always in these finals with various dogs. And this one is no exception, a really nice dog. Give us the handler's perspective on this round then, Ashley. Yeah, so we had a little bit of a pushy start there from the dog, which is always difficult because if you're feeling like you're fighting with your dog on the start line before you've even started, You've got to claw that back together for the rest of the run and make sure that you, you forget about that, you take it out of your mind and you try and complete the run. Unfortunately, picking up five faults there, the dog did turn the wrong way on number 12, but they managed to save it. Again, another sign of a great handler there that you can save it when it starts to go wrong. Just the five faults, but the, the time is very acceptable. 37.7 is now 10 faults uh, for Amanda and for Bo. And there we go, missing the end of the dog walk, but they always say the, the difference between a 
great handler and a brilliant handler is the ability to be able to correct a mistake in the moment that it happens. So really well done. This is Havoc and uh, Lindsay Lightowler, five years of age from Wensleydale in North Yorkshire. First time in the main arena for both of them, Lindsay and Havoc. Let's hope they get confidence from each other, eh, Ashley? Absolutely. Lindsay is a lovely person. She's a really nice dog trainer. She's got a nice young spaniel called Wanda coming up as well. Um, so, yeah, definitely a partnership to watch out for the future. But, yeah, Havoc is a great dog. Um, had a really successful year last year. So should be one to watch. Have it just squealing his way around there and they can make as much noise as they want out there but they still need to listen which is sometimes difficult um, and they just get so excited no faults for making noise out there that's for sure I am brilliant style going over that and indeed over the long jump seesaw good and again a very respectable time and a clear round as well really good for Lindsay and for Havoc. Very, very nice round there, well controlled. Uh, just those of you that may not have seen agility before or follow it, just to remind you that uh, you, the only thing you're not allowed to do is physically touch your dogs, all done by vocal commands and body language. <coughs> Making sure we know he's in the house. Teddy, nine years of age, Ellen Slight, the handler from Banbury, rescue dog this one. Yeah, I think this is Ellen's first time running in the main arena at Crufts. So that is going to be very exciting for this partnership. Unfortunately, picking up a refusal there for the weaves, but she managed to complete them. Pushing round, doing a front cross there on our number nine. Can we get that contact on the dog walk? Yes, we can. A beautiful running dog walk there and very well handled on that number 12. Into our tunnel. Can they get over this long jump? Yes, they can. Onto the seesaw. Perfect position there. Straight onto that A-frame and a beautiful clear round. Oh, unfortunately, five foot. Yeah, very nice round there. Fella. Just missing the entrance to the weaving poles. Must go between one and two. But as you say, for a first run it, it, on the main carpet, I think that's really good. There's no substitute for experience here at Grubbs. Dalton yeah. Meredith and yeah. Eclipse. Probably the favourite here. I know you picked Dalton and Eclipse last night, Ashley, didn't you? I did. I'm not saying anything today. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, it didn't quite go to plan for them last night. But yeah. today is a new day and a fresh day. And you really just have to take that out of your mind. You know, whatever happened yesterday, let it go. Today is a fresh day and a completely different quarters as well. And Graham, this is a fantastic combination. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, winner of the uh, individual gold at the World Championships, winner of the individual gold at the European Open Championships. Never been done in the same year before. Uh, Dalton will be focused. He didn't do quite so well in the international yesterday, but you can just see why. Look at the speed of this dog. Dalton is in absolutely prime position to make sure that he communicates well with the dog. And look at that. Half a second quicker than the rest, Dalton Meredith and Eclipse. Second in the jumping this morning, top of the pile as things stand in the agility. Faye Nemeth and uh, Jess, 11-year-old uh, Border Collie, 11 years of age. Wonder dog, this one. Recently started... Uh, a career as a therapy dog as well, the Border Collie. Faye from Brampton. Yeah, so this dog is 11 years old, and it just goes to show how fit these dogs are. And they absolutely love what they're doing. And it, it does come to the day that you have to tell them, unfortunately, you're retired, which I had to do with my dog on, on Thursday, Sully. Um, how hard was that? Oh, 
it's so it's it's really heartbreaking really to be honest because for many years you are a team you're a partnership you're fighting on those courses together so when that day comes that you have to retire them you know it's heartbreaking but um they've had a great time they they owe us nothing and they never need to prove themselves to us that's a, a good round 43 seconds of just the five four just on sully uh, career continues in panto with you. Yeah, absolutely. Um, he, yeah, I don't think he wants to retire fully yet. Uh, I don't think <laughs> he'd forgive me. So um, still working on the stage. This is Legacy. She's a four-year-old Border Collie. A young dog for David Munnings. Can be a little bit nervous. But looks pretty composed there. <laughs> And a flying start to, to this round. Yeah, Dave's been there, done it, got the T-shirt. Although it's a young dog and it's always a bit of trepidation that you come in here with a young dog, he's got the experience internationally and nationally to do this. He will keep it together wherever possible. A good contact at the end of that dog walk. Excellent over the Skoda and the IAMs as well. Now that right-handed towards the far end of the course, long jump, absolutely no problem. It's a good time too. A frame. Good contact to the bottom. It's a really good time, this. 33.2 for David Munnings and for Legacy. Second place as things stand. Yeah, like Graham said, Dave knows exactly what he needed to do on that course. He has the experience. Yes, a young dog, but uh, it is the handler guiding the dog around the course. Martin Reed here has ran already with uh, Snooze. Last year's winner, Martin Reed. Second dog is Shape. First in the jumping this morning, Martin Reed and Shape. And just a reminder, the quickest time so far is 33.0 seconds, but um, if Martin really wants to go for it, but uh, they will not threaten that now because there's a fault just going into the weaves. That's a really surprising fault there yeah. for uh, Martin. I, I would not have expected that, but it just goes to show dogs are dogs and things are going to happen. But he won the jumping this morning, so uh, five faults shouldn't hurt him too bad if he can keep this round going the way it is now. No, but he will want, actually, as you agree, he'll want to put in a fast five now. Just uh, there are quite a few competitors here, but done it very well. He's not very happy, but uh, he's happy with the dog, but not with himself, I think, is probably the thing. Ten faults for Martin and, and for Shape numbers combined to produce the grand final tonight not what was prescribed there and i think you could just see he just crowded the dog i think going into the entry just pushed it into the second bowl uh, but still a great round so shannon springford ran earlier in the competition with banter first dog third last year these two this is fernie no name and again, this morning, she had faults. So she is looking for a clear round. And unfortunately, again, picking up a refusal on that weave entry, which, looking at this course, I didn't think would be the place where people would be getting errors. But clearly something, whether the dogs are coming out of that number four tunnel really, really fast. And unfortunately, picking up an elimination. An, an elimination. It is and strange. It's, sorry to cut across it. It is strange, Graham, isn't it? The, the weaves are pretty... They must do so many of those. What, why would that happen? Why would that happen? Uh, it's a culmination of things. Uh, nerves, probably, and people trying to make sure when actually, in fact, they should just leave the dog to do what it knows how to do and keep out the way. Yes, we've all been been there and done that when we've overhandled a dog and we, we didn't need to. And, and I think that's where nerves really play its part because we do silly things that we wouldn't normally do in training. We did have a bit of, bit of wheel spin going into the weaves. It was doing its best to put the brakes on, I think, in fairness. Penultimate large dog, Clyde. Bonnie Quick, the handler. Seven years of age, border collie. Enthralling competition so far as we sort things out for the grand final later on. Bonnie Quick and Clyde. Yeah, Bonnie's another person with tremendous international and national experience. Uh, she's a full-time trainer, I think, now. Knows how to handle a dog, knows how to train a dog, and you can see why. It's all about keeping the connection and communication with the dog. The dog hasn't got a clue where it's going. Reliant totally on the handler. Little bit of a wide turn there. Keeping it together, coming on to the fast part of the course now, Jim. 
Time is good right up there. Last few to go. That's good too. A frame. That'll be in the mix. Well done. 34.8 and clear for Bonnie and for Clyde. Yeah, that was a, a lovely round there from Bonnie. Again, her just using her experience. Yes, she had a wide turn there, but this round isn't all about winning. It's just about not getting eliminated. Well, sadly, Joe Gleed and Steely from nearby Coventry were eliminated in the jumping this morning. First time competing here at Crufts. Loves her agility and particularly relishes those tunnels for picking up five faults early on in the proceedings. Yeah, this dog has really come on in the last few years. When she first started competing, she was she was a little bit worried and a little bit nervous, but Jo is a brilliant trainer and really works well with her dogs on bringing them up and making them the best they could possibly be. Terrific style, terrific pace as well from Jo and from Steely. Ten faults picked up along the en route. Just... OK, was it at the end of the A-frame? I thought that Martin was an extra five faults, but uh, full of promise, that combo, Graham. It is. Let's just look at this tyre. The dog hits it and it breaks away. The most important thing to stress here, Jim, is that uh, a few years ago it was a solid object uh, and they were quite hard, but now it's A, it's padded, and if they do hit it, it breaks away, and that's totally because safety is paramount. So Dalton Meredith, second in the jumping this morning, winner of the agility uh, with Eclipse. David Munning's up there as well. And these are the combined how things stand, and we will see all of them, I am sure, later on in the day. As uh, that's a, It'll be a heck of a competition. Round about 5 o'clock UK time, wherever you're watching, whatever you do, do not miss it.